In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your front driver's side CV axle assembly. Let's get started. Let's remove the wheel, 21 millimeter socket, remove all five of your lug nuts, and then pull the wheel off. Take the wheel off. Remove the axle nut. You need a 30 millimeter 12 point for these fasteners. Keep in mind, they are pretty tight. And now you just wanna make sure your axle pushes through the hub, which this one does, so that's perfect. I don't have to worry about it. If it doesn't, get a punch and a hammer, break it free because you don't want this to be seized up in here. When you pull the hub, if it is, it's gonna separate the inner CV joint. Next, there are three 17 millimeter fasteners to be removed, two nuts and one bolt. Okay, move the ball joint to the side. I'm gonna try and give you an overall look as to what I'm doing here. I'm pulling on the knuckle and the whole suspension set up here, but pushing the axle through that way and trying to keep this separated. So this is naturally going to want to turn because the tie rod's still connected. To help it, I'm going to push that side tie rod out a little bit, turning the steering wheel. There we go. It's very tight in here, so I can't really get you a good angle. This is the best I can do, but basically you wanna stick a pry bar in here and pry the axle out of the transmission. <clears throat> okay. Now you can slide it straight out of here. There's your CV axle assembly. Take the new axle and slide it through. It's difficult to see in here because it's so tight, but line it up with the transmission and then uh, slide it in. Just pay attention to not damage your seal. And you might have to give it a couple spins to line it up with the splines inside there. Okay, I got it to line up. Now use a rubber mallet and tap it in until it bottoms out completely. Okay, that's in. Bring the axle down here. Let's coat the splines of the axle in anti-seize. This will help it not get stuck inside the hub in the future. Slide it into the wheel bearing and hub. And if it doesn't line up, just give it a twist. The splines should fall in. There we go. That's pushed through, not all the way, but it's seated and now we have to put the ball joint back on the control arm. So now let's get this ball joint back in. Put back both of the mounting nuts as well as the mounting bolt for the ball joint. Now the bolt might not go in right away just because it won't line up. Whatever you do, try to start it by hand because you don't want this cross-threading. Bottom the mount. 66 foot-pounds is the torque for these three. All right, now let's put the axle nut back on. I'm using an impact gun for this, but I'm not going to tighten it with this. I'm just using this to run it down quickly, and then we'll use our torque wrench and torque it to 159 foot-pounds. To prevent the hub from spinning, I'm gonna use my pry bar and stick it in here to hold it while I torque this down. Okay. Now you'll notice the axle has a cutout here. That's because we wanna punch the axle nut in and that's how you lock it in place. So take a punch and a hammer and make a little indent. Doesn't have to be a lot. This is enough to prevent it from backing out by itself. Now let's put the wheel on. Put back all five of your lug nuts, bottom them out, and then torque them to 76 foot pounds. And double check them. 
here you go, take it for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.